Hi boys and girls and third grade families, this is Miss Brewer and this screencast is for the Japanese artist lives in sweet life as a candy sculptor. So your first job in this ELA assignment for Tuesday, May 5th, 2020 is to listen to this screencast so that you can hear me read this article. The second part is that you are going to reread the article on your own and the third part of your activity is to complete the Venn diagram which you will see on our newsletter. This article, starting here, Japanese artist lives the sweet life as a candy sculptor. So this article, I want to just give you a heads up. It has some really tough and complicated words, so I'm going to do my best to sound them out, and I hope that you do the same when you go back and reread it on your own. It starts here with a photograph. I'm going to scroll down for you to see. I want to show you one more feature. When you open this PDF document and you scroll down below, it shows you that this is uh, one out of two pages and there's also a magnifying button. And if you click that, your article will zoom in if you would like to make it bigger on your screen. As you can see, it maxes out. So I'm going to start here with paragraph one so that you can follow along. Amizuku is the Japanese art of making candy sculptures. Craftsmen used to make them in front of a crowd. Many people thought Amizuku was dying out. However, in Japan, it is getting popular again. Candy Maiku is an Amizuku artist. For 17 years, she made candy figures at Disney World's Epcot. Disney World is in Florida. Miyuko left Disney World in 2013, but still makes her sweet treats. In the summer, she made a Mikazu at the Tampa Museum of Art in Florida. The museum was showing the work of Yayo Kasuma. Kasuma is a famous Japanese artist. She uses bright colors and covers her artwork in dots. A Mikazu is made out of a syrup. First, Mayuku heats the syrup. Then she pulls it like taffy. Each piece starts with a lump of hot candy on a stick. Miku can make anything from a purple pig to a glittering dragon. Finding a candy sculpting teacher. The road to sugar stardom was bumpy. Mayuku says she is the first female Miziku artist to study it formally. Mayiku read about a Miziku in the newspaper. She decided she wanted to be a Miziku artist. Mayiku looked for a candy making teacher. She learned about Takeo Kimura, a Miziku artist. Mayiku's first meeting with him went badly. He told her he didn't want to teach a woman. Mayiku said many men thought that way. Many women were still in. Many women were encouraged to stay at home and not work. Still, he agreed to teach her. Kimura taught her how to make the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac. The zodiac is based on a 12-year cycle. Each year is represented by a different animal, like a snake or a dragon. This year, 2018, is the year of the dog. Mayuku was Kimura's last student. He died one year after they met. A sweet opportunity. Miyuku practiced making her sugar sculptures. Soon she got a call from Disney. Disney officials were looking for an Amiziku artist. Miyuku got the job. In 1996, she moved to Florida with her daughter to start work. At Epcot, visitors watched Miyuku make her sugar, made her sugar figures. They were amazed. One lucky person got to take each figure home. The most popular were dragons and unicorns. She can make one in two minutes. Mayuku's favorite is candy faces. They can take up to 30 minutes each. Sometimes children complained about the candy figures. They weren't very sweet. Japanese candy contains less sugar than American sweets. There's too much sugar in America, Mayuku says wondering if you agree with that statement. Thanks for joining this screencast for your ELA assignment for Tuesday, May 5th. Here again is the title of the article, Japanese Artist Lives the Sweet Life as a Candy Sculptor. So now your job is to reread this article on your own and complete your Venn diagram. 
Make sure that as you are reading, if you get stuck on anything, just as I did, you go back and reread. I know there are some really tricky words in this article, so we appreciate you trying and doing your best. Thanks for joining and listening, and good luck. See you next time.